So let's get it recording. We're recording. <coughs> so, um, again, this is only going to be for the people who are um, not there, actually, because I'm really trying to encourage you all to sign into Dr. Frost Maths, because until you've all done something on that, I'm a bit loath to go and set any more work. So, so far, only Emily, Emma and Fran have actually managed to successfully log into Dr. Frost Maths. So if the rest of you could please get that done as soon as you can and let me know when you have done and perhaps just complete the little exercise that's there waiting for you. It was just a little test exercise, so I didn't mind what my mark people got. So it's irrelevant what mark people got, but it just shows me that you're able to access it. So everybody apart from Emily, Emma and Fran, please, can you make that a priority? Because otherwise I'm just stuck for doing um. Uh, Hecate Mass all the time. And it'd be nice to have a bit of variation in our last few lessons before the end of term. Right. OK, so, yes, yeah, sorry. What we're doing today, we're going to practice solving linear equations and your homework will be Hecate 184. So I'm just going to model three of the answers. So this is the slightly harder ones when we've got X's on both sides. OK, now your thought process is this. You need to get all the X's onto one side and all the normal numbers onto the other side. And it's a lot easier to choose to start with the X's and make sure they all end up on the side which has got the greatest number of X's to start with, because that will just keep everything more positive, all the answers positive, and it just makes it easier. So on this particular question, obviously 5X is bigger than 3X. So 5X is going to be the side where we keep our X's. So on this occasion, the X's are going to be on the left. So it is the 3X that has to move. So to undo a plus 3X, we're going to minus 3X from both sides. Now, this instruction only affects the X's. So you can already just bring down your normal numbers. They are going to be unchanged. So let's just go and um, process that instruction. 5x take away 3x is 2x. And 3x take away 3x is nothing. That's the whole point. Now, this would look more, you should recognize this now. This just looks like a pretty straightforward one. 2x minus 9 equals 3. So we've got our x's on the left. The normal numbers need to go on the right. So we're going to choose to add 9 to both sides. So 2x equals minus 9 add 9 is nothing. That's the whole point. 9 add 3 is 12. So 2x equals 12. Just divide by 2 to finish. So x is 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So for this one, our final answer is 6. Question 2. So on this occasion, the x's are greater on the right hand side. So we want to move all our x's over onto the right. So it is the 2x that has to be undone. So our first step is to choose to take away 2x from both sides. This does not affect the normal numbers. So the plus 4 and the minus 9. So 2x take away 2x is nothing. 6x take away 2x is 4x. So on this question, all our x's are on the right. So all our normal numbers need to be on the left. So the plus 4 is on the correct side. The minus 9 has to be undone. How do we undo a minus 9? We add 9 to both sides. So 9 and 4 is 13, equaling 4x. So we're nearly there. So 4x equals 13. So just be careful. How do we undo a timesing by 4? We divide by 4. So our final answer is going to be 13 being divided by 4 equals x. And that's as far as we can go on this occasion. 13 divided by 4 is not a whole number. Now, I'm 99% sure that Hegarty will allow you to just give the top heavy fraction of 13 over 4. If it doesn't, you might just have to get your calculator out and turn that into a mixed number with a decimal, but I, I'm sure it's going to allow 13 over 4. It normally does. And final question. OK, so on this occasion, the X's are going to go to the left. So 4X plus 2 equals minus 1. 
So x is on the left, normal numbers on the right. So to undo a plus 2, we're going to minus 2. So 4x equals minus 3. Remember, minus 1, you take away another 2, takes you further into the negatives to minus 3. 4x equals minus 3. Make sure you get this work the right way around. To undo a timesing by 4, we divide by 4. So x equals minus 3 being divided by 4. So minus 3 quarters. So that's it. Um, good luck with those questions. I don't know if it's still just you and me, Emma. Let's have a quick look. If anyone else joined us. Oh, we did. We got joined by loads of people. So, so hello, Fliss. Hello, Guy. Hello, Josh. You weren't there when I started. So it's nice that you all joined me. I, I know that um, uh, Miss Tibbetts's tutor group are, are, um, are in school today. So uh, thank you all for joining me. So if you could just go and do those questions, please. As always, I will be here keeping an eye out on Teams. So if you're getting stuck, just drop me a quick post. I can also see the answers that you are doing on Hegarty. So if you're getting them wrong, I will try and intervene and send you a little message on Hegarty telling you where you are going wrong. OK, good luck with those guys. Bye.